Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth. How are you today? Wait a minute, is that me? Yes, that's me doing my very first voiceover. And today I'm just doing a quick little look for you guys with some of the new drugstore items that I purchased. Not all, but just some. Uh, first, I'm just putting the L'Oreal Milk Blur Primer on my face and drinking this wonderful cup of coffee. The foundation I'm going to use today is a Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse in Nude Beige Light 3.5. It is a little ashy for me, but I do make it work um, once I'm blended in and put everything else on. I'm going to use the Miracle Complexion Sponge to blend that into the skin. And uh, let's see what else. You know, in a minute, that hair. Yes, girl, that hair is really annoying me. So I'm pinning it up with a pan of chopsticks that I have and then finish blending in the foundation. And the concealer I'm using today is the Rimmel Match Perfection in the Light 245. Of course, doing the triangle underneath the eyes, the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and forehead, and then blending it in with the Miracle Complexion uh, sponge. Excuse me. And look guys, I still got those bags. I can't get away from those. So I'm gonna put in the Wet n Wild Illuminati Highlighting and Concealing in Ivory Into You. And I'm gonna actually, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, yes! We got some product. I'm gonna put that product on the high points of my cheeks. And then along with that, I'm going to put it on the bridge of my nose. The Cupid's bow, my chin, and at the forehead. I was just trying to brighten it up, so I don't want to put so much product on my under eye, but let's see how it looks. Oh no, still got the bag. So I'm going to go in with another Rimmel Perfection Concealer, just a much brighter one, just to put it in that bag area and then dab the concealer with my finger. The color I'm using this time around is Light Fair, Light Neutral, and um, it does brighten it up as you can see in look. The bags are gone. I just got a little bit of deepness underneath my under eye. So what I'm going to go now is powder my face with the NYC BB Radiance in Natural Beige, I think that's what it was, and this, way, this Wet n Wild powder brush, oh my god guys, don't forget, I am giving away a full set of the Wet n Wild um, makeup brushes in my giveaway. So now I'm going to go in with the contour, e.l.f. contour palette with the contour brush and just kind of deepen in those uh, naturally sunken cheeks to, and then use the contour brush from Wet n Wild and, you know, blend everything together, warm up my forehead and then do the other cheek as well. And then getting back into the e.l.f. contour palette, guys, I'm taking the cool shade here and just contouring the heck out of my jawline. I've gained a few pounds over the off-season, so it's life. Now I'm getting to the e.l.f. light blush palette. I wish they had names or numbers because I uh, just absolutely love this palette. And as I'm going to get some blush and blend the heck out of my cheeks with the Wet n Wild Blush Brush Love It. And uh, yes, it looks a little heavy, but blush is my favorite. Along with highlighting in this illuminating palette, I'm going to go a little bit crazy with it. I'm going to start using that the darker uh, shade with the Wet n Wild stipple brush and just highlighting everywhere. Uh, for some reason, I was not happy. I wanted more glow, so I'm going to get this and go whoop and put all that all over my Cupid's bow. And of course, got to go a little crazy. <laughs> and put more glow on the cheeks and the nose and everywhere just everywhere guys glow away and uh, I decided to powder my under eyes I usually don't so I went back into the elf contour uh, palette and just you know powdered the under eyes and then I just started contouring my nose what do you guys think I'm not quite sure how I feel about it let me know what you think the lips, I'm going to use the Rimmel 16 Hour and the Wish Upon a Berry. Um, I like this color, but for a moment, I was really confused because the lipstick is actually quite lighter than the tube itself. So uh, now I'm going to put on the sealant that keeps it moisturized and sealed and make it stick on your lips forever and a day. Uh, what do you think? Now I'm going to put on the e.l.f. eyeshadow lock primer i love this stuff especially for my uh hooded wrinkly eyes now this is where i'm stuck guys i'm very drawn in between these two palettes i love these wet and wild all natural palettes i was so confused i didn't know what to do so what i decided to do was go on ahead and go in between of both palettes to create the look so you'll see a mixture of the bare necessities and hang on guys hang on with me Bare Necessities and Nude Awakening. And uh, I just go in between them. So from here on out, I guess we'll just watch. Oh 
course, guys. More coffee. <laughs> and I'm going to spray the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray onto my makeup brush to kind of give it a little bit of a pop of color. I wanted some a light sheen on the eyeshadow lids and then on the corner, on the inside corner of the lids as well. And uh, just to give that little bit of pop. I absolutely love this color right here, guys, but check this out. You must see this. Ready? One, two. <laughs> that look is priceless. Stunned as can be. I couldn't believe it. Make sure you guys tap it off, especially that color, guys, because, uh, I mean, tell you, you know, I am heavy-handed. So when I d dipped into that, I totally forgot to tap it off. But I'm just going to use that color to put underneath my eyes. To, so I don't have to put eyeliner. I want to put a different brighter color. And remember guys, my look today is not too heavy or too bright. I was going with the mister today and he likes that natural look, but I wanted color. So it's not too heavy. It's a very light color. Now I'm going to go on with the wet in the wild turquoise. This poor thing. It's so old. I need to get a new one. The color payoff is not that great, but it gave me enough just to say, oh, okay, I got some color down there. And now I'm going to using the Position Formula 2-in-1 Booster eyeliner I love this guys uh, only thing I kind of dislike about the brown is it's not as wet as the black but it works just the same I just wish it was a tad wetter but look at that eyeliner yep 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 look at that point I'm gonna cut you all right let's go ahead and do the other side Mwah! I'm gonna give my eyelashes some love. I'm gonna use the CoverGirl uh, Super Sizer Mascara to give them a coat or two. And then what we'll do, we'll actually put some falsies on. The falsies I'm gonna use is 110 in the Ordell with, along with the Eagle Tools Eyelash Adhesive. All right, guys, now it's time for the brows. Yes, I'm doing the brows for you guys again. As you know, I don't do my brows very often. Only time I've ever done them is in YouTube. And what I'm gonna be doing is using the Wet n Wild uh, eyebrow pencil. I wanna say it's nothing but brunette. And I'm just gonna draw some lines through my brows, guys. I don't have a method to the madness of my brows. I'm not a professional. I just started doing my brows only for the YouTube, as you know. Uh, my eyebrows are only waxed or threaded once a year. I don't do them very often. They are very natural. They are sisterly twins they are not identical they're fraternal um, each one of them is different and spoiled in their own ways but I love them equally so now that I'm going to add the wet and wild brow mascara and nothing but brunette as well this formula is is very 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 wet so I barely tap my brows with the tip of the mascara brush and then, then go back in with the spoolie and comb everything in together Then I'm going to go in one more time and give my eyelashes a love tap with eyelash curler to make sure my eyelashes and the false eyelashes are together. And then I'm going to pull my hair out, give it a good shake. It hasn't been washed in about four days. It is a lion that is not maintained. It is a wild beast. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. So now I'm going to go in now with the photo focus setting spray while I went in the wild. Spray my face to set it and then let that set. It does dry very quickly and guys. You know what? What was that? <laughs> but this is the look. What do you think? It's nice, it's simple, and uh, to the point, guys. I love you so much, and don't forget the giveaway. Bye!